and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Andrea Chisholm. The Office of Utilities Regulation has released data showing an increase in the number of power outages by the Jamaica Public Service. The period under review was 2023. The OUR Director General provided the update at a stakeholder engagement session this week. Details in this report. According to the data from the Office of Utilities Regulation, OUR, in 2023, there were over 130,000 recorded system outage events, marking a notable 26.8% increase compared to 2022. 4,326 were categorized as planned outages, while the majority, totaling 132,226, were classified as forced outage events, causing unexpected interruptions in service to customers. It is not looking good for the last year, for the last couple of years, and um, we urge GPS to see if it can get a hold of that trend, and in that regard, we are really happy to hear the promised commitment that has been, public commitment that has been given to increase service crews and to pay, pay greater attention to operating maintenance. OUR Director General Ansard Hewitt says part of the concern is a disparity in the areas where outages are frequent. There are some areas that outages seem to be, an interruption seem to be a particular pain point. Um, I know the residents in St. Elizabeth, and Malvern, and South F um, uh, Mountainside and so on, have these particular concerns. The OUR revealed that based on JPS's 2023 Q-Factor data set, the light and power company will most likely suffer a financial penalty when the assessment is conducted at the 2024 tariff review. JPS experienced a similar fate after the 2022 performance evaluation against the pre-established targets. As part of the arrangements under the Quality Factor or Q-Factor, the OUR is required to measure the quality of service that JPS provides to customers and adjusts non-fuel prices to reflect the noted changes in quality of service against prescribed annual targets. Motorists will enjoy lower petrol prices effective tomorrow. Each litre of 87 and 90 gasoline will sell for 25 cents less. Diesel and ultra-low sulfur diesel will decrease by 60 cents. Kerosene will see a reduction of $3.06. Propane will go up by $1.19, while butane will cost 30 cents more. Gas stations will add their markup to these prices. The U.S. dollar is now selling for an average $154.78. The Canadian dollar is being sold for $114.93. The pound is going for $195.65, while the euro is selling for an average $169.23. To the stock market now, the JSE index declined by 1,537 points today and the junior market index advanced by 13 points. The winners were led by Lasco Manufacturing, Spur Tree Spices, Cygnus Real Estate Financial, Knottsford Express and First Rock. The main losers include Paramount Trading, Epley, Epley 7.5% Preference Shares, Iron Rock Insurance, KLE Group and T-Tech. And that's it for the Business Day. I'm Andrea Chisholm. Good evening.